Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Tour Guide Service Skills Class. As the saying goes, reading ten thousand books is not as good as traveling ten thousand miles. However, safety is the first step of our journey. In order to arrange the team smoothly, taking transportation means and travel safely. We can roughly divide the services of taking planes, ships, and cars into three service processes: preparation before taking, service during taking, and arrangements after taking. Before we go out, first of all, we should read and think carefully about the tourism reception plan, and understand in detail. And accurately the travel standards and the requirements of the tourist group. When the tour guide leads the group to take any means of transportation, tour guide must be the first to get off and the last to get on. This is convenient for taking good care of the tourists. The tour guide must leave sufficient time when leading the group. To reach the airport, train station, and the pier, in accordance with the requirements for outbound flights, it shall be three hours in advance, or as stipulated by the airline. For domestic flights, it shall be two hours in advance. For trains and ships, it shall be one hour in advance. Requirements. For in-flight service, one, check the ticket information. Confirm the cut-off time for check-in procedures. Domestic flights, thirty minutes earlier, and international flights, forty minutes earlier. Understand the matters needing attention when taking the flight, and arrive at the airport on time to wait. Two, remind. Of the matters needing attention, tourists can only bring one piece of carry-on item with a weight of five kilograms and a volume not exceeding twenty centimeters multiplied by forty centimeters multiplied by fifty-five centimeters. The free checked baggage allowance is twenty kilograms, and it is allowed to carry liquid. With a single piece not exceeding one hundred milliliters, and a total not exceeding one liter. Exceeding it requires checking in, and it is allowed to carry two charging power banks not exceeding twenty thousand milliamperes, but they cannot be used on the plane. Prohibit the carrying of matches and lighters. Forbid to check in valuable items, fragile and perishable items, electronic products, charging power banks, and items containing lithium batteries. Three, boarding procedures: bring your air ticket, ID card, boarding pass, go through the security check, and wait for boarding. Four. Persons who have experienced air sickness can take air sickness medicine in advance. When there is a reaction, remind tourists to close their eyes and rest. Five, follow the arrangements of the flight attendants and listen to the introduction of safety knowledge. Six, order this in bag, pick up the luggage. And if there is any damage, register for compensation in a timely manner. In addition, the tour guide should try to choose a seat by the aisle for the convenience of taking care of the tourists. After getting off the plane, one should rush to the exit of the station first, in order to conveniently connect with the local guide. Who comes to greet? Requirements for onboard service by ship. 
One, pay attention to the weather forecast. In the foggy season and typhoon season, long-distance navigation should be avoided, and tourists should also be reminded to arrive at the port sixty minutes in advance. Two, check the ticket surface and verify the information. When taking the coastal and the Yangtze River passenger ships, you can carry luggage with a total weight of twenty kilograms and a total volume of zero point three cubic meters for free. For other inland river passenger ships, the free baggage allowance is respectively twenty kilograms and ten kilograms. Three. When boarding the ship, it is required to be slow and steady, and must not cut in. Four, after boarding the ship, watch the safety promotional video and give safety reminders, including the placement location of the life jacket, the explanation of the wearing method, and so on. Five, when disembarking, pay special attention to vehicles, attachments on the ship, and be courteous when disembarking. Requirements for train service: one, after purchasing the ticket, check the information on the ticket surface. Two, after arriving at the station. Listen to the broadcast and the calls of the staff to avoid missing the train. In case of queuing, the tour guide takes the lead at the front, and the group leader is responsible for the back. Three, after getting on the train, find the proper berth or seat. If unable to find it, you can ask the conductor for assistance. The tour guide should try to arrange themselves in the berth or seat located in the middle of the tourists, and often walk around to take care of every tourist. When allocating the positions, try to assign the families, husbands and wives, and couples together. Four, remind tourists to move their bodies. To prevent discomfort. Five, pay attention to the broadcast on the train, and make preparations for getting off the train in advance. In addition to the above, it is necessary to pay attention to reminding tourists to travel safely, and strictly prohibit carrying prohibited items or flammable. Explosive, toxic, corrosive, radioactive objects, and other dangerous goods. Take good care of the facilities, and it is strictly prohibited to turn on and off, move, or carry them at will. In the event of an emergency, one should follow the instructions of the staff. And remain calm. All right, classmates. The tour guide leads the tourists to walk politely and travel safely. This not only relates to one's own life and safety, but also is a manifestation of respecting the lives of others, and is also an important factor in building a harmonious society. That's all. For today's flight, ship, and vehicle services, see you in the next class.